Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Monk Saden. So he is a true double hand character. So let's compare him with Faye because Monk Saden also a fist user and compared to Akstar because Akstar the pinnacle of true double hand character. And if you take a look on his attack stats, it is quite good 150% attack stats. But yes, you must equip his weapon to achieve that but yeah it is also needed because his trust master reward need you to equip his weapon to get 60% attack boost so in the end he gets 210% attack boost which is very big but special thing about Sabin is he is quite tanky like you can see he gets 70% health boost and 100% spirit so yes pretty good spirit is really useful for Resist against magical attack and because he learns few healing skills I believe that's really useful okay and for ailments he has poison paralyzed and disease good but no confuse so bad okay and yes he gets 200% true double hand boost which is higher than Faye and Akstar remember that Akstar get 200% because he equipped his trust master reward okay so yeah Sabin is better than Akstar okay in terms of stats in my opinion Sabin also able to counter enemy attack with physical attack okay three times damage and allow access to triple blitz same like Akstar counter okay very good and basically that's it the rest simply 10% MP regen and yeah damage modifier increase so nothing special really pretty bland characters but quite decent okay so enough about stats now let's talk about his abilities so let's talk about his chaining ability first so I've been able to chain with two chaining families the first one is Stardust Ray it is not commonly available at this point but in the future yeah, it will become a common chain rain, able to chain with Stardust Ray. But at that time, I believe Sabin will become low tier, so it doesn't matter anymore. So I think the one we need to talk about is the Phantom Rush. This is chainable with Absolute Mirror of Equity, and it deals nice amount of damage. Okay, so he gets plus 2.25 times damage from his passives. That means without any damage modifier buff from his abilities he deals 15 times damage per cast which is amazing okay and with triple cast 45 times oh very good remember that you can get half points damage increase from meditation okay but you can you have two meditation skills i'm not sure whether they are stuck stacked or not but even if they are stacked I don't recommend you to do that because that will make Sabin into double elemental attacker okay you only want to use one meditation to imbue element water or fire okay and get another one times damage modifier from your cooldown ability breathing breathing technique so in the end he gets 1.5 that means with ignore defense you get three times damage modifier from each attack so in the end he deals 21 times damage per cast okay with triple cast 63 times damage so yes very very good better than jack and other triple caster before akstar but compared to akstar he loses okay but he is not bad you will see later from his cooldown ability the first cooldown is Praying technique like I said you use this to increase your damage modifier and restore your health okay remember that you can combine this with your other abilities so some of his skill will reduce his health to one so you can combine this with it to heal his health to back to full okay really good and it is two turns cooldown so you can use this frequently but yeah, the main purpose of this is to increase your damage modifier to your Phantom Rush and Tiger Break. 
So this Tiger Break is his next cooldown ability and this is really beast guy. And yes, this can be combined with your Phantom Ras. So yeah, I have said that triple cast Phantom Ras, Phantom Ras is inferior than Axtar. But if you combine this with Tiger Break, Sabine can deal insane amount of damage per turn. This Tiger Break deal 14 5 times damage without any buff. Okay, with buff, you can get additional 25 to 30 times damage. Okay, the setup is same like Phantom Rush. So, by increasing your Phantom Rush damage, you also increase your Tiger Break. So, in the end, you can deal 111 times damage. Okay, so sorry if the damage modifier count is wrong or anything, but you deal about that damage, okay? It won't differ that much. So, in the end, with Tiger Break, he deals better damage than Axtar. Okay, the last Undying Spirit, this reduce, this, I mean, this deal the 81% health damage to himself. Okay, so you do this because you want to upgrade his LB. So let's talk about his LB now. So the reason you use his LB is to unlock his triple blitz. Okay, but again, like I said, his cooldown ability is really good because if you reduce his health to 19% by using that 81% health damage, you will upgrade this LB, okay? This LB gonna deal insane damage. On the maximum level, it deals 70 times damage. Whoa! But the problem, this is not a finisher nor a chainer. Maybe you can chain with another Sabin, but this skill has long delay, okay? Which is not that ideal in my opinion. But still, it is really easy to build because it only needs 36 LB crystals and if you use your cooldown ability, you will able to use this immediately. So really good LB, okay? The problem is his cooldown has 10 turns cooldown, okay? And for other abilities, Sabin also able to heal, Soul Spiral, this will reduce his health to 1, okay? But the effects are insane, okay? It will recover 100% health to all allies except yourself. But remember, you can cast healing skill to yourself because you can combine this with your triple triple blitz or double blitz. And the chakra, chakra is also good. Okay, it is Kyuraga level healing, but yeah, it also recover MP. So this makes Sabin able to become MP battery and backup healer, which is really good while waiting your tiger break available for yourself. So really guys, Sabin is really bland characters, but really versatile. So enough about abilities, let's talk about equipment. So for equipment, the best weapon for him is, of course, Tiger Fangs, and that's obtainable without Super Trust Master Reward, okay? It is hard to trial, but at least you don't need to gather four same characters, okay? And Tiger Fangs has Aqua Killers, which is good for upcoming trial, Octopus Teacher, okay? So that will make Sabin MVP for the trial, okay? And basically the rest simply build his true double hand and attack stats. You won't have hard time building his true double hand because he already have 200%. Simply two rust gloves or one buster soil is enough. And for attack stats, you won't have that much problem too because he already have 210% attack stats. Okay, so yeah, you only need 190%. You can get that from weapon enhancement. And if you have phase martial wear, then whoa, it's very easy to reach 400% attack cap. Okay, so enough about equipment. My conclusion for Sabin. So yes, Sabin is really good character. Okay, he is on par with Axtar. Even better, like I said, because yeah, he deal he can deal more damage per turn than Axtar. The reason I say he is not much better than Axtar because Axtar able to imperil 
fire and ice resist by 100%. So if you count the elemental in peril, Akstar is more powerful. Okay, but Sabin is a chainer. That means he gonna has a partner. I believe that your partner able to imperil your enemy elemental resist. So with that in mind, I don't think Akstar 100% imperil is that special. Especially maybe you pair Sabin with Akstar because both of them able to chain with absolute mirror of equity. And also Sabin has nice healing abilities, so he is not a pure attacker. He able to become support, really nice. Okay, so yeah, Sabin is really good character, and his stress mastery reward is also very good for fish user. But yeah, he is the best fish user at this moment in my opinion, so it is only useful for him himself. For super stress mastery reward, it is also the best, maybe insane accessory for other character who equip fish weapon or who need raw attack boost 55 attack boost is huge especially let's say you can use it for Xeno okay so in the end I give Sabin 10 of of 10 the fish star okay for Akstar yeah like I said they are about on par okay the fake star also get 10 out of 10 have self in peril Okay, but yeah, of course, Akstar has lower damage modifier. If you count the Tiger Break, another problem Sabin has with Tiger Break is the Tiger Break is not chainable with anyone. So if you want to max the Tiger Break damage, you need to make Sabin into finisher and yeah, that's kind of complicated. But for character himself, Akstar has complicated setup. Okay, you, you need to two, three turns to reach Akstar maximum potential, not for Sabin. For Fei, of course, Fei loses compared to Mong Sabin. Okay, I can only give a 10 out, uh, 7 out of 10, okay? Fei has self imperil Machine Killer, but low damage modifier. Okay, so in the end, Sabin is amazing character, not a troll anymore, but again, in the face of Aster and Zeno, those two are better, okay? Not the fault of the characters, but it is just Zeno and Aster are just too good for us. So if you are a fan of Final Fantasy VI, you want to use Sabin, then go ahead because really, I can see him tackle any trial available right now, okay? He is really good. So yep, I think that's all you need to know about Sabin. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Prime Facts videos, guys. Bye-bye, guys.